Welcome back. Let's now talk about the COVID-19 situation. Now, the vaccine exercise heightens globally to protect people against the severe form of COVID-19 disease upon infection. Many might be wondering whether the vaccines really work. And since vaccines trigger the immune system to generate antibodies in response to infection, one might think that an antibody test can be used to determine whether the vaccine works. But as Gloria Milimu reports, scientists say these tests are unnecessary. Here's why. Ever wondered what happens to your body after receiving your COVID-19 vaccine? Well, experts say the vaccine triggers your body to produce what is known as antibodies in response to infection. When you get vaccinated with the current COVID-19 vaccines, um, the main protection that these vaccines induce in your body are what we call antibodies. And these antibodies are what protect you from getting subsequent infection with COVID-19 virus. Or even if you get infected, then they help you to reduce the chances of you developing serious disease. Whereas these vaccines trigger the production of antibodies, Professor Oyugi explains that this cannot be used to determine whether the vaccine you have received has worked or not. When you get vaccinated, it takes up to between 10 to 14 days for you to start developing antibodies from the vaccine. Meaning that if you go for testing one day, two days, or even nine days after vaccination, you may test antibody negative and you may get the false feeling that you are not, you are not protected. The current antibody tests that are being used, they measure different parts of COVID-19 virus. And some of them may not be measuring the part which is used for, in the vaccine to produce antibody that protects the people who have been vaccinated. The scientist explains that antibodies are not the only immune system form of protection. The other arm of protection are the, the cells in your blood. They also play a role in uh, fighting and killing the invading, invading uh, pathogens. Scientists say antibody tests were generally designed to detect only a few antibodies generated by natural infection and not through vaccination. They also argue that antibodies vary in their ability to neutralize a virus, and this cannot be measured by a routine antibody test. From a clinical point of view, it is not necessary for someone to go for antibody tests to confirm if they have been protected or not. Meanwhile, 2,726,932 people have been vaccinated in the country, with 1,925,446 of these having received their first dose. 788 new COVID-19 infections have also been confirmed as 28 more patients succumbed to the disease. Gloria Milimu, KTN News. Go get vaccinated if you haven't and please stay safe. Now back to